Radhe Radhe Swamiji. My question is, how can we understand law of karma in Hinduism? The law of karma. There are certain man-made laws and there are certain universal laws not created by man but still existing. The traffic laws, the laws of IRS, the laws of the state, they are all man-made. If you violate them, you can be punished. And then there are the universal laws of God, like the laws of motion. Newton discovered some of them when he said an object at rest or at motion will continue in that state unless acted upon by an external force. You studied that, right? So these are the physical laws. And then there are the subtle divine laws that control existence. And one of them is the law of karma. This law of karma is very much like the law of action and reaction or cause and effect. It says that every cause will lead to an effect. When this is applied to our thoughts, our actions, our works, that is the law of karma. Karma pradhan vishva kari rakha jo jas karai so tas phalu chakha The law of karma says whatever you do will have consequences. So be careful about your every action, about your every thought. The law of karma also explains why you are responsible for where you are in life. Very often people have this tendency of playing the blame game. You know, it's all my parents' fault that, that I'm not so successful. It's the fault of society. It's the fault of God. It's the fault of the government. It's so easy to fall into this blaming mode. But the law of karma says no. You took choices all through your journey in life. And the consequences of all those choices is that you find yourself in a particular situation today. So the law of karma tells us it is our responsibility. And that is why we now have the onus. If I am responsible for where I find myself today, then it gives me hope. If I am not satisfied with my state, all I need to do is to change my actions and to change my thoughts. And I'll find myself in a better place tomorrow. So the law of karma helps bring out the best in people. That is the reason why God has it in place. Just like for example, now if you play well and your team wins, that is an incentive to play even better next time. But if the scores and results have no correlation with how you played, then everybody will be demotivated. Forget it, it really doesn't matter. That is why later on when you grow up and go into the corporate world, you will find that there's a performance appraisal system. Your boss will evaluate your performance and help you in your promotion. Why is that performance appraisal system there? Because people need to learn this fundamental principle that to rise, you have to work, think, and do better. So on the universal level, this is the law of karma that God has in place. The law of karma will also punish. Somebody came to a Hindu acharya 
and said, Swamiji, you know, I'm so miserable. My family situation is so awful. My health is bad. I lost my job. My house got burned. Why did God do this to me? So the Acharya said, that's because you are a rascal and you did many sins in past lives. Now that apparently is a very harsh answer. I'm a rascal and I did many sins. But it opened that guy's eyes that if I am in a terrible mess, it was my karmas from this life and past life. And if I wish to improve my lot, I need to improve my karmas. So this, at the subtle level, the law of cause and effect is the law of karma. It exists in various forms in other religious traditions as well. So the Bible says, as you sow, that shall you also reap. In the Sikh Dharma, the Buddhist Dharma, the Jain Dharma, the law of karma also exists. And as the Hindu philosophy is getting more and more prominence, and gaining influence, these words are getting adopted in the English language. So somebody once told me at breakfast, Swamiji, would you like to try almond milk? I said, let me check the box. And the box said, good karma proteins. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, look, this is proof that mainstream has now adopted the word karma. They're saying meat is bad karma proteins and almonds is good karma proteins. So in brief, that is the law of karma. <laughs>